Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today I'm going to show you guys what I've been working on since my last video. I've been working on a model and um, uh, I don't think I posted anything of it. So I guess this is my, uh, I'm going to show you guys what I've been working on. So as you guys know, um, uh, Douglas over at Douglas Model Garage video, um, he did a uh, giveaway and I won the giveaway. So he was giving away two um, of his um, kits that he, or yeah, yeah, cars or kits, or then not kits because they're, they're already put together, but he was giving away two, two cars and I won both cars. So one of them was the um, uh, a charger and, and and this one it's the 69 uh, Nova if you guys go back and to my um, my videos you guys will see and I will link uh, Douglas's um, uh, link below so you guys can go and check him out if you guys don't know his channel so I um, uh, it was painted uh, gray so I pretty much I've been um, trying to uh, take all the parts off the car without breaking anything so I I was able to take everything off um, the uh, back end uh, or tail lights uh, it's, it's gonna need a little bit of work but not a big deal uh, I was able to take off the glass I was being super careful because I don't want to crack them. I mean, I could probably make my own, but I wanted to save uh, the actual uh, glass. So I took all that out and it was painted uh, that gray. And so the, the body, it's, um, um, it's under my um, stripper. So I'm stripping the paint off. So uh, I'll give it about a, uh, a week. I just barely put it. Uh, um, dunked it in a solution uh, last night so I went and checked it today when I got home from work and uh, you can tell that the paint is lifting off so um, it, it, it's working so I'll be able to um, um, uh, strip the paint so what I use it's uh, this it's called LA's totally awesome um, so I use this this is what I use to strip the paint and strips it pretty good so I have no issues with it and, and or the plastic so and the undercarriage I mean nothing fancy I mean I still gotta glue this and uh, I might just repaint this um, and do some weathering and um, you know uh, give it my my, my twist and then, um, so aside from that, I've been, um, I've been, uh, building with my son. So it's, it's, it's exciting for me. Not, it's not too excitement for him because he's, he'd rather be, um, playing outside and, and, um, playing video games. And when he goes outside, I'll go with him, but he wants to be playing video games and I'm trying to get him off of it, but and try to pass on my my skills onto him but uh it's it's uh, it's a work in progress just like anything else you start a plastic model you first thing you do is you uh, you look at the parts make sure everything, everything is good and then you work your way so it's the same thing with him i gotta if if he's willing to work on his kit then i'm like oh i've gone whole for it so him and i uh been working on this one which is the Corvette C7R and if you guys go back into my um, um, stash ads or yeah, I think it was a stash ads um, it was a trip that him and I went to um, uh, Pegasus hobby store and with his um, recycle money he was able to get that car and of course I helped him out with um, whatever he was short so what's exciting for him and I is that even though he's 10 years old I literally let him use the spray can so he spray can 
his first plastic model. And it's, I, I should have taken a, a, a picture, record all that, but it's just, uh, we were both too excited that we just forgot about it. And I was like, let's do this. So, so far, this is where we're at. So this, I painted everything. Um, it was still in the sprue when I painted the whole, all the pieces. So he um, put it all together. Uh, he painted um, the calipers, he wanted them uh, gold. So everything else is black and yeah, so he, he, um, he assembled this together. So, and then um, this is the, the body. So he, um, it's got some imperfections and I told him that that's okay. There, you will never have a perfect model. So, um, and and I think it's got a little bit of orange peel here, and it's a little light on one spot and darker on another. There's no runs, which I'm I'm uh, pretty uh, amazed that um, he was listening. I would tell him, "Don't get too close. You're getting too close. You're too far away." So and it shows, and he, and he knows it. And it's like, oh man, I messed up. I go, don't worry about it. We still gotta put the decals and and do the clear coat, and all that's gonna go away. And then he goes, oh, am I gonna be able to clear coat it? I go, sure. So we'll see how that goes. But I'm pretty excited um, that uh, him and I were able to um, spend some time um, uh, working on 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 his his model, and it's. And it's came out nice. It's pretty nice. Um, so I'm 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 excited, and it's it's a pretty slow process because I think we bought this kit in February or January or February, well, somewhere at the beginning of the year, and and it's going on four months, almost five months. So yeah, a very slow process. So, but it's okay. It's it's. Um, as long as he finds the interest of, oh, today I'm gonna work, it's like anything else. So, and hopefully once he gets the whole um, finished product with the decals and the clear coat and all that, then hopefully we'll be able to get another kit um, that he can work on. And this is a skill level four and he's doing it. But what um, intrigues me it's that even though it's a skill level four, it only has 64 pieces. So I, I don't know where they get the uh, skill level four because 64 pieces, it's, it's nothing. However, the detail that comes with this kit, it's, it's pretty, I like it. Um, I'm actually thinking if I do end up finding another one, I might just buy another one and just do it my way just so that I can um, highlight um, uh, the detail and of course I'm not gonna paint a yellow it's gonna be a yeah I'm not even gonna put the decals it's gonna be my 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 race team my Mars team so it'll be my own twist with with that and but it'll be it'll still be a race card but it'll be my own my own flavor but um uh yeah so this is what I've been working on and I'm just um uh, I really don't want to keep building anything because I'm preparing myself for the um, uh, the group build that uh, um, we'll be hosting and you guys know the Rust Bucket uh, group build and I really want to thank you guys for um, uh, wanting to jump in and, and looking into, into your um, your spare box and junk stuff and you know you name it and um and i already saw um one or two entry videos and i'm like wow we're, st we're still two months away but um, I, I really thank you guys for for jumping in and doing your entry videos and, and, and i um, i really really from the bottom of my heart i really appreciate it i never really think it was good first of all I, I just thought it was gonna be something fun and Never thought I was gonna get a, a good um, reaction and a good, um, an excellent feedback from everyone who has leave a, 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 
who left a comment in, in the uh, comment section for both videos of, of this rust bucket. So I do appreciate that and I'm excited and eager to see what all of you guys are going to bring to the table and, and see what kind of rust bucket uh, um, are you guys going to um, showcase and, and, and do and and have fun with it. And if you can have family members and just to join in, it's um, go for it. If you guys don't know how I, I mentioned before, just go back and look at my how do I do my rust and it's really simple and what's good is that if it doesn't come out the way you want it, you want it just hot water warm water and brush it off and start all over and um and there you go and then just until you get it to work you want it and that's what's good and i really hope that once i start doing um this group build i get to have my son involved in it and and then um hopefully i'll be able to do a diorama with him so that i can display my my rust bucket and his together and hopefully i'll get to display it in his room or for him to remember all oh, i remember when i did this so this is pretty much why i'm doing this this group build just so i could get him involved because i always mention that i'm i'm in a group build and he's always asking well whose group build are you doing now and i tell him not this time son this time and i'm hosting one he's like, oh okay so maybe that's pro probably why he's he's doing his his kit but um, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited, and um, I really need to narrow down my my uh, selection of group builds because there are just way so many group builds that are they're great group builds, and um, yeah, to to just enter e each and every one of them, uh, yeah, it's it's, it's 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 pretty hard for me. So I, I gotta be honest, it's pretty hard. So. Um, so I gotta be, um, I have nothing against any, any group goals or anything, uh, but um, I, I really have to uh, set myself aside from from certain ones, just so that I don't overwhelm myself. There's some guys out there that who they got ten builds going at the same time and multiple, I'll say multiple, multiple meaning more than two or three. And uh, my hat off to you guys. I don't know how you guys do it. Okay, so I'm already on 12 minutes and I don't want to bore you guys. And um, I know myself, I'm going to start rambling. So thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, if this is the first time you're watching this, go back to my um, archive, see what you like. Or if you know someone who likes this stuff, um, share it and give me a like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Happy modeling.